What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're jumping back into some road to the show today. As you can see, we are in the major still. Big shocker. And we are heading into a series against the Mets. Let's see how we can do here at home against them. Leading things off here, bottom of the first. They got me in the leadoff spot in the lineup today. We're only hitting 214, so see what we can do against Jose Quintana. A little blooper to short. It's going to be an easy one pitch, one out. Not a good start to the game so far. All right. Top of the second. Mets up one to nothing here. Omar Narvaez at the plate. Runner on first and one away for him. He's hitting 233 this season. Got a two and two count here. And it's going to be an easy double play ball. Flip to the shortstop covering. Got him at first with the turn. Got to love it. We're heading to the bottom half of the inning. All right, bottom of the third, still a 1-0 ball game. That's on top. Quintana still on the mound for him. I got a runner on first and one away. 93 mile an hour four seamer. 94 on the sinker. Nothing else quick. Here's the first pitch from him. Easy take, low and away with the curveball. And that's ball one. Oh, let's go. Come on. Ripper to third, a double play. My goodness. Not having great contact on these pitches. I don't know what the deal is, if my timing is that far off or what. But top of the fourth, we're back at it. No, Omar Narvaez at the plate again. Runners on first and second, two away. And a little chopper over to the first baseman. Way to go, Goldie. That's the end of that inning. All right, bottom of the sixth. We've tied it up at one. I got a pair of ground outs on my line score. One of them was a double play. I am three for 16 on the season. As you can see, this is only my second series in the majors. Got Quintana on the mound still, so here we go. Oh, good rip on the four-seamer up. Is that going to find grass? It is not. It finds the center fielder's glove. That's all she wrote for that at-bat. Top of the seventh, though. Tommy Pham up the plate. He's got a runner on first and two away here. He struck out earlier in the game. He's got that 0 for 2 line score. 0 1 pitch from Miles Michael is going to be on the way here. And it's going to be a piece of cake. Ground ball out. Even though Pham's booking it down the line, not enough to beat that one. We're heading to the stretch, boys and girls. Don't forget your Cracker Jack. Top of the eighth, still tied at one. Runners on first and second for Francisco Lindor, who's 0 for 3 today. There's two outs here, so a little ground ball out would be wonderful. Hits it to the shortstop. Relay to me at second, and that ends the top of the eighth. Bottom half of the inning, one out, nobody on us. I'm stepping up to the plate for the fourth time in this one. Batting average is really plummeting because of my bad performance in this game. Got a reliever on the mound for the Mets. Got a 97 mile an hour four seamer, 96 on the two seamer. Slider only hits 84. First pitch from him. Oh, got me swinging at the four seamer up and in. Not a good time there. So there's strike one. Got to remember my pitch selection will be key in the majors and I watch a four seamer on the outer third for strike two yeah that's uh, not impressive at all here all right oh and got me to swing at the slider above the knees thought it was a fastball it was not I don't know why my discipline gets punished for the strike out there it was a strike that I swung at just didn't have good timing Anyway, bottom of the 11th, 0 for 4 line for me on the, today's game. Mets are up 2 to 1 at this point. The runner on second and nobody out as I'm stepping up. Relievers got a 102 on the four seamer. 99 on the two seamer. Slider only hits 85. Chopping at the slider there just above the knees and fouling that one off. Just a smidge out in front of it. That's strike one. We really got to advance the runner here to help increase the likelihood of tying it back up and forcing another inning or even potentially walking it off. All right, one and one the count here against Edwin Diaz. Let's see if he's going to put that four-seamer on me. He is. 101 on the gun there. Holy cow, is that cooking. <laughs> Very late swing. Not a surprise. That thing was blasting up in there. Ooh, four-seamer just off the outside corner. Tough take there, but it did work. We now have a 2-2 count. Let's go. Come on, something good. Oh, late again on a two-seamer this time in the top of the zone. Foul that one off. Remains a 2-2 count. At least we're grinding out a decent at-bat here. 
And slider there out into left center field, but the left fielder stays back. Center fielder gets it. Throws to third, but the runner does advance, so we got one out, runner on third. Good odds of tying this bad boy up. And we do top of the 12th. Runners on first and second, one away for William Lugo. He's 0 for 1 today after striking out in the 10th. 1 and 2. The count for him here. We're looking double play all the way here. That's going to be it. Ground ball to the third baseman. Relay, turn, and there it is. Double play. We're heading to the bottom of the 12th. Nothing happens there. It's top of the 13th. It is 5-2 now. Mets are on top. They have opened it up here. Two outs and nobody on for Eduardo, Eduardo Escobar. Three and one count on this pitch here. He bunts it to the first baseman. Goldie takes it to the bag to stop the bleeding here in the top of the 13th. Of course, they have me coming up to bat here. Bottom of the 13th, runner on second, and nobody out. Starting things off here. I'm 0 for 5 today. Batting average has plummeted to a 158, but this is only my fourth game in the majors. So, first pitch. Little bleeder, going to roll foul down the third baseline. So that makes it an 0-1 count. Pitcher on the mound, has got a sinker at 93. Cutter at 90, nothing else quick, here we go. Another chopper out in front of the slider, just above the knees. Foul that one off down the third baseline as well, and here we go, 0-2 count. Chopper to third, does not advance the runner, and he throws across the diamond to get me by a mile. And that's the first out in the bottom of the 13th. Not a big shocker. The Mets take the win here. Final score 5-2, to two, and we're jumping into the next game right away. While this one's loading in, if you're watching out there and you haven't subscribed yet, you're more than welcome to. Please do. I'd really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and comment while you're at it, as that helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Top of the first here, Daniel Vogelbach at the plate. There's one out and bases loaded for him. 2-2 two -two count. Mets are coming out swinging today. Either that or Jack Flaherty is walking a bunch of people with a pitch count of 13. I don't think that's the case. All right. Going straight to the plate with it. Are we going to get him? Got him at the plate, so only one run scores. So there's two outs now with runners on first and second. Still top of the first. Runners on first and second. Three to nothing the score here. Darren Ruff at the plate for the Mets. 0-1 count for him here. Flaherty's thrown 20 pitches already. Not a good time for him on the mound so far. And a little dribbler out to me at second base. Relay to first, and there is finally the third out in the top of the first inning. Bottom half of the inning. They got me batting third today. My batting average is a whopping 150 here. OPS 300. That's terrible. We got to do something about that. Uh, let's see... Let's try to advance the runner just because. Runner on first and one away here. Pitcher on the mound's got a 96 mile an hour four seamer. 95 on the sinker. Nothing else quick. Here we go. Four seamer just off the plate inside. Taken for ball one. We'll take that. Give me something good to swing at. Love to actually get another base hit here. This series so far has been terrible. 0 for 6 for me. All right, second pitch. Right down Broadway, and it finds the right center field gap. Right fielder gets it. I'm going to hold up at first because I'm not going to risk it. Now they're out. So we have runners on the corners now with only one away here in the bottom of the first. Nothing comes of it, though. As top of the third, Mets are up four to nothing here. Brett Beatty stepping up to the plate for the Mets. He's got a runner on first and one away and a full count in this at bat. Dribbler up the middle. Flip. Oh, no. Oh, I muffed it. That's not good. Yep, charge me for the error on that one. How I missed that ground ball, I will never know. It just didn't stay in my glove. That's a bummer. 7-1 to one, now the score in the bottom of the third. Runners on second and third with only one away as I'm stepping up to the plate. My average has jumped to a 190 after that single in the first. Okay, all we need to do is get a sack fly here. Do something productive, right? Uh, easy take. Four-seamer way above the zone there. So that's a 1-0 count. Getting ahead of the pitcher right out the blocks. 
Second pitch of the at-bat. Outside with the four-seamer. So now it's a 2-0 count. Finally, I'm learning pitch selection. Not like the previous game here. Another one way outside with a four-seamer. It's a 3-0 count in a hurry. I almost wonder if I shouldn't just take this one on principle. We'll see what he throws me, though. Yep, took it. I didn't think uh, that was going to be called a ball. That was really close to the corner there, but hey, we got the bases loaded with one away here in the bottom of the third, and we don't score again. Eight to one the score now in the top of the fourth. Mets are just obliterating us here. We got one out, nobody on for Daniel Vogelbach. 0-1 pitch to him. Hopefully I can not muff this one. And there we go. Finally a good play out of me in the field to get the second out here in the top of the fourth. Top of the fifth is still 8-1 to one ball game. Mets on top. William Lugo stepping up to the plate with a runner on first. Nobody out and a full count here. He's 0 for 2 on the day so far. We're going to see if we can make that an 0 for 3 with a double play here. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Flip to the shortstop covering. Relay to first. There's your double play. Now there's two outs with nobody on. Bottom half of the inning. Runner on first. Nobody out as I'm stepping up to the dish here. Batting average is absolutely garbage. Under 200. Still got the starter on the mound for the Mets. Four seamer just below the knees there. Thankfully called the ball. So we're ahead of him once again. It's a 1-0 count. Second pitch of the at-bat inside with the four-seamer. Another easy take. 2-0 and oh the count. He's thrown me six straight balls. How about that? Third pitch of this at-bat, though. Oh, got me with the circle change at the knees. Got me to swing right through that bad boy. So it's a two-and-one count now. Let's see what we can do with pitch number four of this at-bat. Easy take way outside with the slider. And it's three and one in a hurry here. All right. Chopper up the middle. Second baseman fields it. Steps on second. Relays to first. Call that one a 4-3 double play. Ten to one the score now in the top of the six. The Mets are just manhandling us here. Runner on first and one away for Brett Beatty, who's 0 for 1 on the day. He's got an 0 and 1 count here against Jordan Hicks. And chopper to the right side. I'm just going to take the easy out at first. Not going to try to pull the double play. So take the outs when you can get them here because we're just getting brutalized. Bottom of the eighth. Nobody out. Nobody on as I'm stepping up to the plate. As you saw there, I am one for eight on the series so far. Got a reliever on the mound for the Mets now. Another lefty. And two seamer runs inside there. 31,552 paid attendance on this one. He's got a 93 mile an hour two seamer. Nothing else quick from him. The cutter is right around 90 though. And there's a rip on a 12 6 curve out into left field. First major league home run. I like it, baby. Somebody get that ball to the dugout. <laughs> Thing of beauty right there. Not much else going on in this one. Bases are loaded here, bottom of the ninth, as I'm coming up to the plate again. Two outs. We're down 10-2. to two. Very low odds of actually coming back in this one, but... Chopper up the middle's going to score a run. Yeah, I find center field. I like it. It's going to score two. How about that? Three RBIs. And we're now only losing 10-4. to four. Yeah. Nothing else happened in that inning as we take the loss 10 to 4. We're jumping into game number three. See if we can avoid the dreaded sweep at home. All right. Bottom of the first. They got me batting lead off again. There's nobody out, nobody on, obviously. Still no score here in the first. Pitcher on the mound's got a 98 mile an hour four seamer. Cutter hits 90, and that's all we got fast. Cutter there just misses the outside corner. So now it's a 1-0 count, starting things off right in this game. Second pitch of the at-bat. Oh, got me to swing late on the four-seamer there. Of course, I came across at 96, and I was not prepared for that. So it's an even-up count now, 1-1. One one. Oh, got me to swing at the circle change way inside. 
90 mile an hour circle change there. So it's a one and two count here. Fourth pitch of the at bat on the way. Fouling off a slider on the outside corner. Remains a one and two count. It's throwing me a little bit of everything, a little bit of all over the place here. Right down the middle with the circle change there, but I grounded it right to the second baseman. He didn't hardly have to move. So that's the first out of the game in the bottom of the first, anyway. Four to nothing to score, though, in the bottom of the third as I'm stepping up to the plate again. It's, uh, yeah, two outs, nobody on. Double or better. Uh, we'll try the contact swing for a hit. Why not? It's not like I'm going to do any worse than I already am. So here we go. Easy take there, four-seamer away. That's ball one. All right. Come on now. Oh, late swing on the four-seamer in the top of the zone. Fouled it off, though, so now we have a one-and-one -one count. Yeah, Tyler McGill on the mound. Yeah, contact swing for a hit. Does not work as I ground out to the second baseman for the second at bat in a row. Bottom of the fifth, score is four to two. Mets are on top. Still got the starter on the mound for them. McGill's doing a decent job on the mound, I'd say. Taking the slider there, low and inside for ball one though. Like to see if I can rip myself a base hit here. Second pitch, right down Broadway, and my swing mechanic looks weird. Bad swings, just all around, they don't look very good. And they ground out to the third baseman to end the inning. Bottom of the seventh, one out, nobody on, as I'm stepping up to the plate here in a four to three ball game, the Mets are on top. We'll try to swing at pitches inside the zone and record a hit. Pitcher on the mound though is a reliever, he's got a 97 mile an hour four seamer, 96 on the two seamer. Slider hits 90. And I bloop one off. Oh, first baseman makes a dive to try to get it. And I swung it one outside of the zone, so there goes the equipment pack. Not going to get it in this at-bat. Slider there outside. Not the easiest take, but taken for a ball anyway. We've got it back to even at one and one. Third pitch of the at-bat here. Oh, two-seamer. Down the middle and low, and I popped it up to the center fielder there. And there's two away in the bottom of the seventh. Top of the eighth. Nobody out, nobody on. Omar Narvaez at the plate for the Mets. He's one for two today. Looking at a two and two pitch here. See if this is a routine ground ball. It is. And there we go. There's the first out in the top of the eighth. Top of the ninth. Still four to three to score. Starling Marte at the plate for the Mets. He's one for four already today. He's got a runner on first and one away. Let's get this double play here. Not likely. Three, six, three. It is a double play. We're heading to the bottom half. And, oh, I'm up to the plate. Runner on first, two away. Last chance for the Cardinals here. I'm hitting 214 so far. Not great. Reliever on the mound for the Mets. He's got a 102. Four-seamer, 99 two-seamer. And weak. Contact there to the center fielder to end the game. Dang it, Mets sweep us at home. So that's going to be the end of the episode. Also the end of this. Oh, wait, no. We have a fourth game? Wow, that's what I get for not paying attention when I jump into the series. Game number four, we can still avoid the sweep. I like it. Let's go. All righty, bottom of the first. They got me batting second today with a 207 batting average. Runner on first, nobody out. Pitcher on the mound's got a 98 mile an hour. Four seamer. He's got a sinker that hits 94. Nothing else all too quick. And swinging at the four seamer just off the plate away. Fouled it off. Decent swing timing though, so I will take that. I, I, I'm kind of okay with good swing timing. Second pitch, up and away. Pitching out, not something you see very often. And now it's back to even at one and one. As you can see, the Mets running away with the National League East. We may be leading the National League Central, but definitely not the same record as the Mets. Swing and a miss there at the four-seamer just above the zone. Makes it a one and two count. 
Oh, swinging at the four seamer just off the plate away again. Still a one and two count. At least I'm making him throw a few pitches here. I wouldn't say I'm grinding out a good at bat here, but. And I pop up a four seamer. This swing is just terrible. And somehow it finds some outfield grass in front of the right fielder there for a base hit. Who knew that that little bloop would work? Bottom of the third, though, still no scores. I'm stepping up to the plate for the second time. There's nobody on, one away for me here. Let's see what we can do in this at-bat. Four-seamer there, up and away, but in the zone. Fouled off. Now it's an 0-1 count here. Definitely a late swing on that one. And I pop up the four-seamer from the top of the zone to the second baseman in shallow right field. And that's the second out. Bottom of the fifth, runner on first, two out as I'm stepping up for the third time here. Still no score in this one. Looks like we've got a little bit of a pitcher's duel going on here. First pitch from Carrasco. Ripped it right up the middle, but the second baseman reaches out to touch the ball with his glove. And that's all she wrote for this inning. Boss challenge. Oh, boy. Power swing for a hit. No, that's not going to happen. Draw a walk. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen either. So we will swing at pitches inside the zone and record hits, hopefully. So here we go. Two out, nobody on. First pitch from Carrasco. Oh, swung at the sinker just above the knees. Late swing, though. Really late swing. All right. 0-1 count here. Second pitch. Perfect, perfect swing out to left center field. That is going to be for extra bases. We're going to hold up at two because I am not that fast of a runner. So we got a double here in the bottom of the seventh. Wow. I will take it. We got the equipment pack. Got my first double in the majors. It's a thing of beauty right there. I did not think that was going to happen. Francisco Alvarez up at the plate now for the Mets in the top of the eighth. The score is now 2-1, to one, Mets on top. Nobody out, nobody on, full count for him. He's two for three today. Let's see what Alvarez is sending second base. Yeah, little dribbler trying to find the hole. No dice, though, as I relay to Goldie for the first out in the top of the eighth. And, yep, unfortunately not enough. Little too, little, little too late. So we get swept in a four-game series at home by the Mets. So that's going to be the actual end of this episode. Also going to be the end of this series. Who knew? And, uh, yeah, if you're still watching, thanks for being here. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the fun social media things. And we will see you in the next one.